Hey everyone, welcome to Daily Dose of Medicine and in this video we're going to talk about oral contraceptives. Stay tuned till the end because we're going to learn a lot of things about oral contraceptives. We'll be talking about side effects, pros and cons, cancer relation and all the other things. So let's get started. Birth control pill is the most commonly prescribed form of contraception in the United States. And the most commonly prescribed pill is the combined hormone pill with estrogen and progesterone. Next couple of minutes, we're going to talk about combined or contraceptives. As we said earlier, this drug is a combination of estrogen and progesterone. Progesterone is the hormone that prevents pregnancy and the estrogen component will control menstrual bleeding. And you should know that in addition to working as a contraceptive, these medications can be administered for some other conditions, for example, polycystic ovarian syndrome, endometriosis, and amenorrhea. And when taken correctly, this pill is over 99% effective at preventing pregnancy. This means that fever then in 1 in 100 who use combined pill as contraception will get pregnant in one year. It's high number. And let's talk about mechanism of action, how these drugs are preventing pregnancy. The contraceptive effect is mediated by negative feedback at the hypothalamus, ultimately leading to reduced pituitary FSH and LH secretion. And why these hormones are important? For example, without an LH surge, ovulation does not occur. And progestin also makes implantation less likely by causing a thickening of cervical mucus. And it also decreases tubal motility and it also inhibits endometrial proliferation. That's how these drugs are affecting the pregnancy. And important notes Combined oral contraceptive pills are to be taken daily at approximately the same time each day. And you should avoid taking them greater than 24 hours apart as this could affect efficacy and it can cause unwanted pregnancies. When you initiate the contraceptive pills, you are not protected from pregnancy prevention in the first 7 days. You should use an alternative method of birth control during this time period. And you should remember if you miss a tablet, just, to, just take the missed tablet as soon as you remember and the next tablet at the usual time. And you will take two tablets in one day as a result. And if you miss two tablets in a row, in the first or second week then take two tablets in the day that you remember and two tablets the next day then resume one tablet per day and before getting into the side effects i want to talk about the pros of oral contraception it's highly effective when used as a directed and it's easy to use and it permits sexual spontaneity and does not interrupt the sex. And some pills may reduce heavy and painful periods. Some pills may have positive effect on acne. And it can be taken over a long period of time. These are the pros and let's talk about cons. Firstly, common side effects. You can see nausea, headaches abdominal cramping, breast tenderness, and an increase in vaginal discharge or decrease libido. But you can prevent pregnancy by taking medication at night before sleep. These are the common side effects. Let's talk about other side effects, but these are rare. The first one is venous thromboembolism. You can see from this picture. And the second rare side effect is hypertension, but you can minimize the risk shortly after drug cessation. Another side effects is hepatic adenoma and cardiovascular events. And the risk of cardiovascular events higher in some women, and this includes women who are overweight, who have high blood pressure, 
who are on bad rest for long periods. You should be careful if you are one of these women. And if a patient takes too many oral contraceptive pills at one time, the most likely complications will be severe headaches and nausea or vomiting. And let's talk about cancer and oral contraceptives relations. Studies have shown that women taking estrogen progestin combination oral contraceptives before menopause have an increased risk of cervical carcinoma but a decreased risk of endometrial and ovarian carcinoma. This is important. You will have increased risk for cervical carcinoma but a decreased risk for endometrial and ovarian carcinoma. And you should be careful if you are smoking and if you are over 35 years old. Uh, you shouldn't take oral contraceptives because you will have increased risk of cardiovascular side effects. And also, women with uncontrolled hypertension should not initiate oral contra contraceptive use until their hypertension is being managed. These are important notes. And in the United States, laws allowing minors to consent to contraceptions are determined by individual states. But most states allow adolescents to receive medical care related to pregnancy prevention without parental consent. And this is important because if you don't give this permission, that can cause unwanted pregnancies among adolescents. And you should know that these pills do not protect against any STD. This is important. Thus, the use of a condom, highly recommended, especially if the partner is a stranger. And before finishing the video, some notes that you should this in your mind. Keep another form of birth control like spermicidal foam and condoms on hand in case you forgot to take a pill. And carry your pills with you if you don't always sleep at the same place. And you should take your pill at the same time every day. And get your refills soon after you start the last prescription. Don't wait until the last minute. And you should know that birth control pills are medications. Always tell your doctor or pharmacist you are on the birth control pill. If you see them for any reason and that is the end of the video if you liked it please push that like button subscribe to my channel and see you on the next video